First up, well, news from Hong Kong, where the anti-government protesters are out on the streets once again today. A day after violent clashes between the protesters and the police, the demonstrators have come out in thousands in Hong Kong's Po Su Park to demand democratic reforms. Last night, the police had fired multiple tear gas rounds in confrontation with the black-clad activists in the city's Kowloon area. The Hong Kong police had arrested more than 20 people suspected of crimes including unlawful assembly and assault. Hong Kong has been rocked by nearly two months of mass demonstrations. Uh, they began as protests against a now suspended extradition bill, but have since ballooned into broader calls for greater democratic rights and government accountability. A, certain, a central demand of the largely leaderless movement is an independent investigation into alleged police abuses, including tactics used against protesters and authorities' response to the mob attack in a commuter railway station that left 44 people injured. And Beyond Correspondent Erin Hale is now joining us live from Hong Kong with the latest. And, uh, well, Erin, uh, thanks for talking to us. Uh, what is the latest today in Hong Kong? The ninth consecutive weekend of protests in Hong Kong today. And riot police have already begun to fire tear gas on Hong Kong protesters for the second night in a row. Today you've seen two big marches in Hong Kong. The first one on the Kowloon Peninsula, the suburban district. And the second protest tonight is in Kennedy Town, near the headquarters of China's central government, where police are already clashing with protesters. As I speak, protesters are building, building barricades to keep police from coming forward. And it looks like protests will continue well into the night here, as there are tens of thousands of people already on the streets. Right, Erin, thanks uh, for that. We will come back to you for more. Well, amid all the chaos, a heartwarming story for Hong Kong couple has emerged. Elaine To and Henry Tong tied the knot uh, even after they were slapped with writing charges after violence broke out during the demonstrations on July 28. To, to and Tong were amongst those uh, charged and appeared in court last week. However, this has not dampened the couple's love for their city after the wedding registry, they emphatically declared, we are Hong Kongers. Hong Kong Hong Kongers. 